All right, so last time we made this little custom mission where you defeat all the robots and you get a spatula. But now what if we want to start doing something a little different from the regular gameplay, like a slide. Slides are a lot of work, so yeah, let's do that. We'll do a custom one. So we have Blender here. I'm just going to add a flat plane, make it massive, go on top, and then we can use the knife tool which I type K and then we can just cut out some shapes. So you have that and then we'll do this again. Actually, let's do that a little differently. We'll just have it be like a straight, I shouldn't say straight slide, but There you go. It's not exactly the best, obviously, but you have this. You can edit it a little bit, make it look a little nicer. I think those. No, okay. It's making sure. Yeah, it's... we can touch it up just a little bit. Get a tad bit nicer. And it will do something like this. Okay, so we have our slide. Um, this is probably going to be small in the game. So I'll scale it up a little bit more too. And we'll add some edges to this. So we'll select all of it. Add a little bit of edge. Delete the top. So now we have that. And this is our slide. So we can add some textures to it. I can get some textures really quick. We'll just pick, I don't know, what would be a good texture for a slide. I think Mermelier used like metal for their slides. So I guess we'll do the same. We'll copy this metal and then we'll copy a red metal. I'm gonna remove RW3. It makes my life just a little bit easier. We'll add that on. Okay, so now we have these. We're going to separate the bottom. You know, the bottom be this metal. Okay, it didn't select it separately. And then the sides can be the red metal. You're gonna have to UV map it make it look a little nicer. I don't even know how to turn on the setting here. I guess like that. Do that. Make it look a little nicer. Cool. Do this one too. Make that look a little nicer. Okay, cool. So it's not anything special, but you know, three minutes, it's not bad. So we'll also duplicate this and we will place this 0.1 higher. And we also need the texture for the slide to make it 10 times easier to edit. So we'll do our textures, click on a level with a slide. I will do Kulagoon Pier. And we want this tongue board test. This one's very important because it has a big yellow air or has a big arrow on it and it makes it very nice to see. So we'll get one more material, we'll add that onto it. And our new one is going to use that. So if we hide this, we have the metal, and then we have this one. So now we can UV map this one and we'll notice our slide has a turn in it so if we keep going this forward direction like it shows here we're gonna hit the end so we're gonna have to cut this up just a tiny bit so I'll go to the top we'll edit it I'll hit cut so that we can change the angle on this or we'll use hit K for the knife tool so we can change some of these angles Cool. 
So now this one is fine how it is. Maybe we might want to turn it just a tad bit more. And this one. And now we can give it different directions. And then this one's fully sideways. I like to zoom it out so I can see all my arrows. Makes it a little easier to see. Okay, so now we have a slide. It's not super amazing, but it works. So now we will delete this, as dumb as that sounds, and we'll export everything else. And we have slide model. And then we'll undo that delete and we'll delete the other two. We need this one to be separate. And we'll do track. So now that we have that, we can import our models and our textures. So we'll do the textures. Cool. And then now we go to the models. And also we'll generate a simp with them. So we'll click on this default layer, we'll copy paste these, remove that say go over to our hip paste them again so now we have our little slide we can move this around that is literally everything but the slide oh i clicked on test model that is why okay so we'll name this and then for slides you have to name this track zero zero to track 99 or just track so we'll just call it track zero zero so you have to name it this the game it hard code stuff which means it's out of our control for editing it's very dumb but yeah you have to name it that or else it will not work at all rotate it just a tad bit it up some so that we can get to it cool so now we have our slide and we have the arrows going here this is named track you want to make it invisible and now you just want a path to get up here so i can place some just some basic objects like floating tiki to get up here and we don't have floating tiki's in our level yet, so we're gonna have to add those too. Import hip hop archive, utility, tiki floating. Okay, save that. Reload the models. And now we have some tiki's, so. We have not the best way to get up here, but honestly it works. I'm gonna, copy this and rotate it so that's easier to edit I'll just duplicate it yeah so we have that raise it up and duplicate it a third time and raise it up so now we have that we'll save it go in game to open up dolphin over here we got our tiki's we have our slide and as you notice we just started sliding so obviously it's a little too close here i'm going to bring our tiki's out some so we don't destroy them but as you can see we started sliding so under 10 minutes we got we made an entire slide and here we go we're sliding and we have different angles too this one's pulling very hard here. But, oh, there we go. We got a basic slide. So now we can start adding stuff to it. We can refine the model if we really want to. Like, 
I can adjust this a little bit so that that doesn't happen. Oh, I do the wrong thing. Can export. We just need this top one. We don't have to edit the bottom one. Back to our hop. This is starting to fill up a lot. I highly suggest condensing it down. I like to keep all of my robots into one file. So now we have this a lot more organized. It's a lot easier to keep track of. I'll go back. We'll import our track, the new one. And here we have it. It's turned. If you don't flip UVs, something like this will matter a lot or it goes in the entirely wrong direction. So you definitely want to make sure you flip UVs. We have that saved. Now we can place some stuff on it. We can add in some wooden tiki's. We can add a robot to the slide if we wanted to. Do some of that. So we can copy one of these. Or actually we can use a template for this. Template. Go over to our hip. Make sure this is nice and small. Because it doesn't really matter. Enemies aren't going to be able to target you on the slide anyways. So. It's not like you need a massive thing. I'll do one more. There we go. So we got some enemies on the slide. We have the slide entirely. And we could have like a platform over here that you land on. We could have a mission where you have to go down the slide in a time. You could do a bunch of different stuff, honestly, at this point. Really once you make your own levels you can make really whatever you want no matter what so these enemies are getting stuck on the slide but yeah we're getting pulled very hard if you notice i could be over here and i'm not really able to aim left well there's just some quirks with sliding in this game it's a little weird but if you make actual larger slides that aren't, you know, weirdly modeled like this, it doesn't, it's not that weird. But I just kind of drew this out very quickly. So we have our mission. We have a quick slide. We have some robots on it and we have some tiki. So there you go. There's quick 10 minute slide.